As a lot of my friends should know, uh, my grandpa on my dad's side passed away this past Friday. And uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about him. Uh, he was like a, a really, really helpful person. He would, like, around his neighborhood, he would help anyone who needed help with anything. He would just, they would, some person would just say, oh, I needed to do this. And he'd be like, oh, I'll do that for you. He was one of those people. But uh, he also, he lived a great life. That's what I can say. Everyone who knew him could say that. He retired early. He got a lot of money. He did pretty much whatever he wanted for a huge portion of his life. And uh, he had a lot of money. He had a big house. He had a big RV, nice boat, nice everything. And it was just, he just li lived such a great life. But, uh, um,. Basically, also, the biggest thing in his life was fishing, and uh, I I like to fish, too. I don't get to go a lot, but uh, he loved he loved to fish, and he him and my dad and his buddies would go fishing all the time, anywhere around the United States, like. Uh, most organized one was that I can think of was um, every year they went to Arkansas to go fishing for about a week and they would catch uh, big stripers down there and uh, another th some other things he did was like he went to Texas and fish deep sea fish and then he went up to Canada and fish he went to Alaska and fish. He also did a lot of ice fishing too. Some I shouldn't say a lot, but uh, he loved fishing. This is it was family and friends and fishing. It was just a huge part of his life. And uh, yeah, it was. I don't know, but uh, he also it's not he he loved fishing, but he also loved teaching people how to fish. He uh. Uh, Westlake, they had a clinic thing up there. They had kids come one day, and he would always take part of being a staff member, help, uh, teaching kids how to fish. He would like teach them how to cast their pole or teach them how to fillet fish and fry them. And uh, he was just really helpful to the younger generation too. He uh. I learned like half the stuff I know from him about fishing, but uh, he was also such a great guy. He always, uh, he loved NASCAR too, that was another big thing, it was right under fishing. Him and my dad would always go um, NASCAR races, let me see uh, some of the races they went to off the top of my head, Bristol I think, Daytona, Indianapolis. I can't think of any others, but I know they went to a lot of them, and uh, it's just terrible having my dad in the state of mind he is right now, and uh, I just feel, the, the person I feel most sorry for is my dad, because he always hung out with his dad, did everything with his dad, he was so close to his dad, and uh, yeah, basically, he was, he was just a great guy, and uh, yeah. I don't know, but he, uh, I'll put a link in the description to his, whatever you call it, I'm sorry, um, but I'll put a link in the description, just click on the link, you'll know what I'm talking about, and, um, we're, we all, we all miss Harry Day, Harry Day is his name, um, but hopefully you guys see this, and I'll see you later.